So today we're doing a shoot with my friend Vince Freeman, singer-songwriter, and we've come to this industrial area which has got some really nice nooks and crannies. Um, I'll show you what we're going to try and do. Yeah, so we have a trigger, flash, brolly, and I'll show you the little spot we're going to use. Just in case of not having the brolly fully up. So you want control over what I'm doing here, I'm going to put this on manual. I think we're going to start with about 16th power because obviously we've got light already. I just want to uh, give it a little bit more shape perhaps. This is quite flat light in here. And we're very restricted on space. I'm going to try and get this up above. Let's see how we go. Uh, I'm also using the camera on manual because I want to be able to control everything. Uh, being a control freak. Uh, Hello, here's Vince, our lovely model. Come on in, Vince. <coughs> so just about where the white stuff is, or maybe just, just past the white, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then maybe just right back, back against the green. Okay. okay. Now you just basically drink your coffee while I try and get a, a shot that works for me. Okay. Yeah, so, okay. So this is what I'm doing, I'm getting what we call the ambient exposure. So I'm, I'm exposing for the, the daylight in the sky so that that will be how I want it to look. To look um, before I light you. Right. So it's, it's kind of a two stage process. You know? yeah. My hand. Now, that's nice. If you can, if you now put your back against it, like flat against it, so you side on to me. Okay. Now drink your coffee. Now turn your face this way and drink your coffee. What am I looking at? No. Right, if you come this way a fraction more. Right, and then I want you to kind of be... Lean the shoulder towards me a bit, so from, from your waist you're leaning towards me a bit. Okay. Good, great. Spot on. Right in the middle, maybe try up the middle. Okay. What are we good for that? The face. <laughs> it's sharpness. Okay. Uh, really nice effect with the sky, which creating a kind of halo around your face. Okay. Look up towards the. Um... <laughs> Sorry. Look up towards the brolly. Okay. So you chin up, that's it, and then bring your eyes down to me. Great. I think that went really well, it looks good. Um, I'm just looking at what else we've got to play with. I don't know if you want to look around here, we've got some lovely colours, the light is nice and on them at the moment. Uh, possibly this side, which is more in the shade, so we can control the light more. See, we'll have a little go at a couple of things. Um, so this place is really good. It's brimming with textures and colours and stuff. Um, there's, imagine about ten or fifteen different setups we could do, but we obviously only have so much time, so um, we'll that down. So, if you're wondering what this charming uh, addition is. Just to provide weight because once this umbrella goes up, it can blow over with the slightest breeze. So hopefully that will stay like um, that. It does help if you actually um, turn everything on before you go in. Stick it up high. Might need a little more power this time. We did have direct sunlight, but that's gone might just be better because we have control of how much light we get on our subject now. Uh, these are strobist gels. I'm going to use an orange gel over the flash. So um, this is obviously going to make the, the light more orange, but in camera I'm going to change my white balance to a tungsten setting to make everything blue. 
hopefully everything will be quite blue, but the flesh tones will be normal. You'll see what I mean. So we're just looking for the tungsten white balance. kind of effect in a second. Um, <coughs> so it's kind of like turning yeah. into a night time. Kind of. Step away from the from there then. Okay. And then we should get a really nice long shadow. Okay. And you can face just very slightly that way, not too much. Okay. Just enjoy yourself and forget me for a little while. Okay, I shall try. I really like this shot, Vince. Just, uh, yeah. <laughs> it does look really good. It's lush. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah, if I can get something like that with my head up. Yeah. And look, looking a little bit. Yeah. Um, so, so that went really well. We've got two definite cracking shots that I'm happy with. Um, we could do lots more here, but we're going to try and fit in at least one, maybe two more locations. Uh, so we're going to skip off to those and see how that goes. So we've come to an SMV venue in Cheltenham uh, to get a completely different kind of shot. It's very dark in there, so it's going to be a challenge, but uh, we'll see what we can do. Um, so, yeah, you can get an idea of how dark it is. We've had to put a spotlight on. Um, we're going to try a shot of Vince in front of the stage. So, um, let's put up some lights there, which will make that hopefully a nice background shot. Um, we're going to use a tripod because of the darkness, um, but I'm going to set up a softbox to light Vince. So, we'll see what happens. This is my easy box soft box. Which I'm going to use just to shoot a regular flash. Tell me, does anybody want a drink or anything? Or? Uh, no, I'm alright, thanks. This is my biggest reflector. Um, it's silver on one side and gold on the other. We're going to see what it looks like with gold. Um, and that's going to hopefully provide much more pleasing soft shadows along with the soft box. Um, so the idea is I'm turning the flash off to get a reading of the ambient light. Um, we're trying it. It's very dark, so it's going to be a slow shutter speed. Um, and then we're going to, when we've got that just nice, we're going to add in the light to light bits. Um, okay, so we've got the, uh, the, the front lights looking decent. Um, I'm going to give Vince a little bit of a rim light to his hair and head to separate him from the dark background. So I think I might make it a colour, so we'll put another one of those gels on the flash and uh, see how it looks. So I've left a, a good chunk at the bottom of just floor, so you can put text, you can use it for a poster and have, have your text there. That's nice.
Nice. Good. Silver surfer. That's good. Uh, radical idea. So uh, bring your chin up more. Okay. Look deep into my eyes. Okay. Tell me you love me. I love you. Right. If you go back about six inches, I think you've got it. Okay. That went really well. So we load this stuff into the van now. Um, we were a little bit short of time today, so we'll probably do another session soon. But we've got some good pictures. I think it was uh, fairly successful. <laughs> Thanks. See you next time. <laughs>